Hello, people out there, like on the internet. What I'm looking at, like on my computer, is like um, that the Irish um, Catholics um, put a rocket ship on the moon, and you were like the pedophile. And um, so, let me set the record straight. Anybody else, you go ahead and set the record straight if you want to. Um, theoretically, we could all set the record straight. Um, what I'm looking at is that um, that what we're looking for, like in our homeless communities, like that that. Uh, that 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 share the same um, land like with our um, police departments is that um, is that we're looking for a realization not a revelation and that there is a revelation police department um, that 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 will not work that's not going to work because the Jesus Christ that if you if you love to hate Jesus Christ do you love to hate Jesus Christ you know because um, the homeless person, um, the homeless person is waiting for you to say that those who love their lives will lose them and those who hate their lives will save them. Because the homeless person is the victim of wrongdoing, okay? And when there's a homeless person who is the victim of the wrongdoing, it's amazing how you can actually see that this solution to the problem is very simple. If you could just remind yourself, those who love their lives will lose them, those who hate their lives will save them. There's only one of these guys as the victim of all this wrongdoing. And so what you're looking for is the realization and not the revelation. And so you would be much better off with the realization police department. And so what this kind of um, results in is that when people are looking at their scripture, we're all going to say the same thing about our scripture, which is that so that you get to the Bible and you look in the Bible and it talks about um, righteousness twice and people have the same experience with the Bible. There it is. Oh, there it is again. It's righteousness. You know what I mean? And um, so the problem with this um, abuser that's um, that's looking for something from the abuse is that um, there, there is there was no structured environment with a with with a, with a, um, with a, with a, with the professional abuser. You know what I mean? There was no. There is no. There was no. Um, what what happens is that these guys it's the same mentality from the inside of the jail and what you have to watch out for is you get into a syndrome because what you keep asking me is this question you say you're talking about this abuser from from the from from the jail like in um in a in in, in, a, in a sense like if you're talking about our system of justice then what you keep asking me is like about this guy and his personality abusing people in the name of a, a religious experience in the Bible with the words of Jesus Christ speaking about righteousness. And um, and so this abuser wants to say like that he's going to do what he's going to do in the name of righteousness. And um, so what about when he gets caught? Oh, well, usually when he gets caught, I mean, sometimes people think it happens between two different countries. And what about when he goes to jail? Well, when he goes to jail, I mean, there, he's he's been in jail, but we're not really into this thing about the death penalty. And what about when he gets caught? Well, I don't know. I mean, and what about when he goes to jail? And what about when he gets caught? And what about when he goes to jail? And what about when he gets caught? And what about he goes to